Welcome to a weekly time of prayer. The stories of the Psalms are weaved around life experiences of people and communities that are so close to us, bridging across time and culture. In our next section, we are dealing with Book 3 in the Psalms, generally with the name of Asap. We began with Psalm 50 and we'll move from Psalms 73 to 83, and today we begin with Psalm. 73. One of the simplest but probably one of the most profound questions asked in the streets and in the minds of the philosophers and in the words of the psalmist in verses 1 to 3 is the mystery of the prosperity of the wicked and the adversity of the godly. It is one of the questions that cuts across religions and cultures. The beginning of the psalm is a very positive one. Truly God is good to the upright, to those who are pure in heart. In the words of the Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard, I quote, Purity of heart is to will one thing, the love of God, unquote. We are free with the choices in life, but the choices we make will determine whether we are free or not. The choices we make do not depend on on the choices of the other, but depends on the love of God that helps us as persons and as a community to open the self to the will of God. In verses 4 to 14, the psalmist describes the changes which is a cause as in verse 12, they increase in riches. The psalmist describes that they have no pain and verses 6 to 7, their pride is their necklace, violence covers them like a garment, their eyes swell out with fatness, their hearts overflow with follies. In the psalm it seems as if there are shades of a teacher teaching or a group of people learning by asking. Think of the words of Jesus in the teaching tradition in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 5. Verse 8, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. For David, he knew, he knew the choices he had to make, and the return of the ark of the Lord was a message that praising God and praying before God are choices. In First Chronicles 16, 16 to 24, we see that David appoints chiefs of the Levites and members of their families to play musical instruments and raise loud shouts of joy. In 1 Chronicles 16, 19, we see that David appoints Herman, Asap and Ethan as singers. We see priorities for singers and playing of music in worshipping God. So a psalm of Asap would attribute the psalms to a person and to the leadership provided to a group of people in leading worship and prayer. Thinking of a story, a wise king ruled over a people who always expected others to do for them. To teach his subjects an important lesson, he put a large boulder in the narrowest part of the road with steep banks on either side. First, a farmer came by with his cart. He grumbled because someone had left a large stone on the road, which caused him great difficulty. Painstakingly, he skirted the stone, but did not remove it. Such occurrences went on repeatedly, day after day. The stone, however, remained where it was, and nobody attempted to move it. Finally, the king called for a meeting of his townspeople at the site of the stone. The king himself moved the stone over with some difficulty and picked up something beneath it. It was a pouch, which he opened from it. He took out several pieces of gold and a note which read, To him who moved the stone. In verses 15 to 26, the psalmist finds the way of God, struggles to understand it, but discovers the way of God, as in verse 17, Until I went into the sanctuary of God, then I perceived the end of the wicked. 
Prosperity without the love of God is momentary and temporary. The last verse is a clear choice, as in verse 28. But for me it is good to be near God. I have made the Lord God my refuge to tell of all your works. May God help us to make choices and enable us to share the joy of the prosperity in the Lord. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you for the promise to deliver us and help us. Guide us to seek you and rejoice and be glad in you. Give us the courage to love your salvation. In you we take refuge and celebrate the joy of your presence and the fulfillment of your righteousness. We pray in the name of the one who is life, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God bless you.